Hello guys, welcome back to another video today. I'm in Yandere Simulator. Last time we did the poison elimination, and this time we're going to do the pool elimination. And I am really excited for this one. This is one of the ones that I was like looking forward to, unlike um one of them. Um, anyways, we're just gonna go straight into it, and this is probably like the most like it's not very long. It's not as long as the matchmaking one. But it's longer than like the poison or like, um, I don't know, kidnap? I don't know. Anyways, yeah, we're just gonna go in and, yeah. Okay, so the first thing you need to do for this is, there's a lot of steps, but of course you need to get rid of rubber, so you can do it anyway, but for this time I'm just gonna do the frame elimination because it's the easiest to me. Okay, so I'm not going to show this part, but if you want to like know how to do this, if you're doing the pool elimination, just watch the um, frame video, and then just do everything I did to Asana to Vriburu, and goodbye. Yeah. And oh, Vriburu is breaking out of her cuffs. <laughs> Also, for um, this to work, so you need to join the gaming club, Why are you and then uh, you don't do this now because you need it on a certain day. Okay, now Wednesday is very important. So, you know this guy, this guy right here, the person of the gaming club? We have to do his task, and he will be the key of our, um, uh, elimination. <laughs> because he distracts everyone that goes to the, um, place with Osana, and Ryber is already gone, so everything will be good. Uh, it's really embarrassing to talk about this sort of thing, but I'm never gonna solve this problem on my own, so, uh... I'm just gonna come right out and say it. You know those five tan girls who are always on their phones? I wanna ask one of them out on a date. But they all seem to hate me. They avoid me and ignore me whenever I try to talk to them. If I did something wrong, I have no clue what it was. So I was wondering, could you maybe uh, talk to those girls and uh, ask them what they think of me? I just want to know if I can salvage things. Yeah. Really? You'd help me with this? That's... that's... thank you. Okay, so now I have to talk to Masume and all those people. I want to ask you something. <laughs> yeah, I've seen him before. The boy with, like, super messy hair, right? <laughs> it's ridiculous. He looks like he's never used a comb in his life. I want to ask you something. Oh. My. God. I know who you're talking about. The boy with giant glasses that cover half his face. Why can't he just get contacts like the rest of us? I want to ask you something. Oh, do you mean that guy who, like, doesn't know how to stand up straight? Seriously, he's always hunched over like a caveman. He's gonna end up with major back problems. I want to ask you something. Are you talking about the guy with all the stubble on his face? He really needs to shave it off. It's like he doesn't even know what razors are for. I want to ask you something. Who's that? Is that one of the boys who wears a bandana? I don't know which one you're talking about, but they look so goofy with those stupid things on their heads. Okay, so now that I have all this information, I just need to go to him and tell them <laughs> all of the things that these girls hate about him, and then he'll be different tomorrow and all of them will love him. Glasses? Hair? Posture? Really? A bunch of superficial stuff like that? I didn't realize that sort of thing was such a big deal. Anyway, thanks for letting me know. Tomorrow, I'll be a new man! And 
now he looks different and this is him <laughs> oh my god he's walking so straight okay anyways yeah uh now what thursday is the day hey sakai do you ever have recurring nightmares i guess well lately i've been having a dream where i'm standing outside of school underneath a tree and for some reason i can't move a single muscle i'm like a statue i guess i wouldn't really call it a nightmare just a weird dream how about you Sometimes I have dreams where somebody ties my hair around something really heavy and throws it into the ocean. I get dragged into the water and drown. Well, that sounds pretty scary. You know, I read a book that said our dreams are actually reflections of our subconscious feelings. Maybe your dream means that you subconsciously feel worried that your hair is a hazard. If you cut your hair, maybe you'd stop having the nightmares. No way! It took years for my hair to get this long. I wouldn't cut it because of a scary dream. When do you plan to cut your hair anyway? It's almost touching the ground. I need to promise myself not to cut it until a certain idiot stops being stupid and realizes how I feel. I don't get what you mean. Anyway, if our dreams really do have meaning, what does your dream represent? I haven't really figured that out yet. Okay, so now when you get your physical education up, you need to get ready for what is about to happen. So you're gonna come in here, and then you're gonna get this. Then carry it all the way to the pool. So at lunch, Osana is going to come over here and sunbathe. And normally, Rabbit would be here and then the five bullies would be around here too. But now that Gemma, the guy that we changed, is like hot to them, I guess, <laughs> they're going to watch him at lunch. So now Osana will be all alone. Um, so for some reason it didn't work. What the hey guys? This is so ugly. I have to do it all over again? I don't know how many times you guys are gonna have to watch. Stop me. Oh, Kane, you're so annoying. Just let me be. I don't know how many times you guys have watched me do this. But, well, I don't really care anymore. How huh? much? Okay. Come here. Yeah. No. <laughs> I hate you, Asana. I hate you. I have to do it all over again. And I'm back here, so if this doesn't work, oh my god, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because I, I was there on Wednesday, and I did the tax task on Monday, and they didn't go. No. Um, and hey. if it doesn't work, then I'm, I don't know what to do. But, oh my god, who's calling me? Help. Oh my god, she's not doing it. She's... I actually don't know what to do. Okay, can stop calling me. Okay, I'm restarting the day. I did everything, and it still didn't work. I tried three times, and I'm done. So I'm the two girls, Hannah and Kashiko, go um in the bathroom for lunch on Thursday. So I'm going to kill Masume, Kokoro, um, and no wait. It's no, it's Kokoro. And who else would she go? Okay, so as long as I do this cleanly, I don't- I won't have to dispose or clean up of anything. So I have to do this all in the morning, so I have time at lunch. Oh my god, I wasted so much time. Okay, everything is done. I'm going to go to class. I garbage their bags up, so I'm pretty sure they won't be discovered. And if they are, oh my god. Okay, and nobody is with Osana, so... I know you're sad, Osana, but like, this took me so long. So if you're a little, um... 
boyfriend ruins this for me, I'm not gonna be very happy. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Good for you. Is she sleeping? Why- why is she like that? Okay, can I- Stop, my- Okay, the thing's kind of messed up, but like, I don't care. This took so long, I think my game- Oh. Um. Stop, my game is so buggy. Okay, I'm done. Oh, oh that's because I killed so many people. Anyways. Um. <laughs> is her hair like a twig? Oh, that's kind of funny. Okay, anyways. And now it's a lit up. Um, I've been. <sighs> this is like. I'm so happy that it's over. Oh my gosh. I was excited, but like. It didn't work for so long. Next one's push. Mm, that's nice. And yeah. I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.